literally just poke myself in the eye. Hi guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey, how are you doing? So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys seven new mom essentials. So these are basically things that I feel every new mom should have. When you are pregnant, you get so caught up in baby, 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 everything baby, that you kind of forget about yourself. And there are certain things that you should have with you in hospital and also for when you go home that are very essential in terms of taking care of yourself. If you want to see what these seven things are, keep on watching so the first new mom essential that i feel every mom should have is nipple cream now this is for every single breastfeeding mother if you are going to breastfeed your child your baby you need a nipple cream because let me tell you the first couple of weeks of breastfeeding your nipples are going to be sore they're going to be um they might crack they're going to be red they might be blistered and um breastfeeding is painful um, it shouldn't be too painful but with the nipple cream it will soothe, it will protect. The nipple cream will also help with the pain, with the soreness, with the redness and it's really important to make sure that you have nipple cream you are breastfeeding and your boobs continue to hurt then it's probably something to do with your baby's latch so just um i would recommend going to a breastfeeding class or maybe seeing a breastfeed um a lactation consultant or a breastfeeding advisor somebody that will help you you know get your baby to latch onto your breast properly and um to prevent it hurting you will definitely need some nipple cream because someone's sucking on your breast like every hour every two hours is it's, it's gonna affect your boobs your boobs are going to complain so um the nipple cream will help soothe and protect your nipples the next thing that you are going to need is breast pads regardless of whether you are um breastfeeding or you are um, bottle feeding it really doesn't matter you will need some breast pads um just because when your milk comes in your you might get a bit of leaking and you know you might have a bit of an accident because your milk is coming in you can get these from anywhere so i got mine from mother care um and they were really super absorbent and i tend to change my um, breast pads after um every two feeds so it's really important to make sure you have breast breast pads because um you will um have situations where you're out and about and your boobs might start leaking and if you don't have breast pads you are going to just lick through your clothes and then that's the end of it. The third new mom essential that I thought every new mom should have are maternity pads. Now regardless of whether you had a c-section or you had a um, you had a vaginal birth it's really important to make sure that you have um, maternity pads because you will bleed and there will be blood everywhere. I used to think I got heavy periods until I had my little girl and I just I was just bleeding everywhere. It's quite disgusting but I remember after my c-section I was in hospital and the, the blood just flowed and they are much thicker than your regular um, pads. If you have a c-section you tend not to bleed as much as if you had a vaginal birth but you will still bleed so you might as well just make sure that you have some um, maternity pads. The next thing that you're going to need, you are going to need a few nursing bras. It's important to have nursing bras because it's easy if you're breastfeeding you can just just unclip, whip your boob out, give it to your child, clip it back and put your boob away without having to expose too much of your breast to the entire world. Um, I also got like a, uh, a nursing cover as well and that's good for when you're out and, and out and about in public you can use that to cover yourself and um, to cover your yourself and your boob and not expose you know your boob to people <laughs> then you can feed your child and also feel comfortable and also with nursing bras because of the way they are made they are very supportive for your boobs because your boobs are going to get bigger they're going to be filled with milk and um, you need that extra support the next thing that you're going to need is some sort of belly band um some sort of something to wrap your stomach if you are under the impression that when you um have your baby your stomach is going to go flat instantly and you're going to snap back um, I'm sorry, you're not. Depending on how you give birth, obviously, I had a C-section, so I was pumped with a lot of fluid. So I had quite a lot of fluid flowing through me. My stomach was out here, my thighs were out there, my feet was out here. Um, so it's really important to um, make sure you just have something that you will use to wrap your belly. So either a belly band, a corset that's comfortable, just to start practicing, you know. <laughs> So you can start practicing sucking that belly in. Also it's good because if you do um, go out and you do have that mummy pouch, you can use that for confidence and um, you know to encourage yourself to help get your body, body back. 
The sixth new mom essential that I feel every new mom should have are comfy clothes. You must make sure that you stock your wardrobe with comfortable clothes because let me tell you after you give birth everything is going to hurt for a while so you need clothes that are going to make you feel comfortable you're going to constantly be whipping out your boobs if you're breastfeeding so you need to make sure that you have clothes that allow you to do that when you are at home your snuggle clothes clothes that you lazy about in so like the big baggy jumpers the big baggy trousers the big baggy rope the furry rope that you have in your cupboards you will need them in the first few weeks you're not going to probably not going to have the strength to like get out of bed you're going to be tired you're going to be sleepy you're just going to want to stay in bed so to have clothes that are comfortable and they're going to encourage you and allow you to do that in peace without any pain without any discomfort is really really essential the final new mom essential is um a breast pump be an electric one or a manual one if you are breastfeeding make sure that you have a breast pump even if you're not going to use it immediately after you have your baby you have it there in hand even if you don't want to bottle feed your child straight away just make sure that you have a breast you have a breast pump in your house for later on when you do decide that you're going to introduce a bottle you don't have to start scrambling about and trying to decide which one you want you um you want to get you already have that you've already done your research and you have that um already so that is my video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment like and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to check out my channel and i will speak to you guys in my next video bye guys